to this ANSYS how-to video course. And in this video, we're going to discuss how to simulate the Wilkinson Power Divider using HFSS 3D Layout and HFSS MCAT in the ANSYS Electronic Desktop, AEDT for short. A power divider or a power splitter is used to distribute the power input to two or more outputs. It is a passive reciprocal device and that means it can also combine the power from the two or more sources to a single output. The power divider is a key element in many circuits used to feed up various components of the circuit from a single source. And there are three types of power dividers. We have the resistive power divider, the Wilkinson power divider, and the hybrid power divider. And the most important characteristics of the power dividers are Insertion loss from input to output, and that should be as low as possible, but although impractical to have zero loss. Bandwidth, and we'll always want to have as much bandwidth as possible as very broadband, but the operation is dependent on frequency range. Isolation, isolation between the output ports, that should be as high as possible to keep them isolated from each other. A phase match between the outputs in some applications is required to have the same phase at the output ports. Now the Wilkinson power divider is commonly used when a high isolation is required between the output ports and a high matching at all the ports, which is needed for say antenna arrays and other microwave circuit applications. So the device itself has one input port and two output ports, and the signal flows from the input port to the output ports with some split ratio. And typically a Wilkinson is configured as a simple microstrip transmission line with a resistor placed between the two output arms on some dielectric material. And this resistor, that's the magic in the matching of the phase at the output ports. And a big thank you to Mr. Ernst and Wilkinson for this find. The two microstrip arms have a length of lambda over four, a quarter wavelength transformation. The lines have a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms. The loved resistor has a resistance value twice of the characteristic impedance that is connected between the two output arms. And that's to ensure the isolation between the output ports. Now, let's see how to simulate that Wilkinson power divider using ANSYS Electronics Desktop. So here's AEDT interface. And let's open the built-in open example file of the Wilkinson power divider in the HFSS 3D layout solver. Go to the desktop tab in the ribbon area and click on open example, HFSS 3D layout, component, and select Wilkinson power divider. A new project named Wilkinson power divider opens, and this contains two HFSS 3D layout designs. Go ahead, save it somewhere on your local file system, but not in the ANSYS example folder. Click on the plus sign in the project manager window and expand both designs. Go to the first design name Wilkinson, no resistor. Right mouse click on the analysis category and add HFSS solution setup. Enter the name HFSS setup one. Enter a frequency of 4.5 gigahertz. Maximum number of passes 20, select OK. And in the frequency sweep dialog box, select the sweep type as interpolating. Distribution as linear count, start at 3.5 gigs and stop at 4.5 gigs, 101 points are sufficient. Click OK to close the dialog box, right mouse click on the HFSS setup one and click analyze. And once the analysis is completed, go to the results category, expand it, right mouse click on the S parameter plot template modify the report and in the solution drop down menu select hfss setup one sweep one and under the quantity select s port one to port one s port one to port two s port one to port three s port two to port two s port two to port three and under db under function and click on new report and close now go to the second design name wilkinson with resistor and again, expand the analysis category. Right mouse click HFSS setup one and click analyze. And go to the results category, expand it. And view the S parameter plot. Now let's show you how the same physical model geometry in 3D layout is in HFSS MCAD. Why many of our customers are 
component vendors and have created their own HFSS 3D component for us to use. This HFSS 3D component can be a fully encrypted HFSS model to help keep the manufacturer's component IP secure. And simply put, this MCAD allows us to use connectors or resistors as HFSS 3D components. So let's export the Wilkinson no resistor design to HFSS MCAD. Expand the analysis category in the project manager window. Right mouse click on HFSS setup one, export HFSS model, and a dialog box opens, which asks for the location to save this model. Go ahead and save it on your computer somewhere. Browse to that location where you saved it and open the model. Rename the HFSS design to Wilkinson No Resistor. Let's analyze this design and check the results. Expand the design name, expand the analysis category. Right mouse click on HFSS Setup 1, click on Analyze. And as the analyze completes, go ahead and create the result plot. No need to wait for the analysis to be fully completed. Right mouse click on the results category, create terminal solution data report, rectangular plot and select as shown. Click new report and to close, now view the S parameter results. The same results as HFSS 3D layout. And that's because it's the same solver, just a different interface. Same results whether using 3D layout or MCAT. Now let's add and analyze it by adding a resistance at the output lines. Copy and paste the HFSS design without the resistor into the same project. And this can simply be done by dragging that design and dropping it into the project name. Rename the design Wilkinson with a resistor. Now draw a rectangular sheet as shown. And now for the simulation purposes, let's keep an arbitrary dimension of the resistance sheet. But these should be the same as provided in the data sheet provided by the manufacturer. You can assign a lumped RLC boundary condition to this sheet. Select the sheet and right mouse click assign boundaries. Lumped RLC, dialog box opens, keep the RLC underscore type parallel and check the resistance and set the resistance value to 100 ohms. Define a current flow on the selected sheet as shown. Click OK to close the dialog box. Go to the simulation tab in the ribbon area. Go ahead and analyze. And as the simulation completes, go to the results category and view the S parameters. And let's compare the results of the power divider with and without a resistor. And here's S23, the isolation between port two and three, the two output ports. Without the resistor, it's more than minus 10 BB. And while it's less than minus TB, when the resistor is added between the output lines. So what does this mean? This means the resistor is a key component in this design as it controls the amount of power that's coupled between the two output ports, port two and port three. And this can also be visualized through the E-field animation. HFSS simulates the model geometry, the physical layout of this design. And this is not a circuit simulation of the design by solving equations. So note there's a 200 megahertz shift in the resonant frequency with and without the resistor. And that is because the resistor's finite dimensions are taken into consideration when determining the frequency. In the circuit, the point of contact is a single point and the length is not considered. Now you can shift the center frequency back to the desired center frequency by adding an extra length of line as shown. An increase in the output length causes a decrease in the resonance frequency. This is as expected. And in this video, we used the built-in example of the Wilkinson power divider model using HFSS 3D layout and exported it to an HFSS MCAD showing that the results are exactly the same in HFSS 3D layout and MCAD, just a different interface. And thank you for watching this video. And for more information on our ANSYS electronic tools or any of our ANSYS simulation tools, please go to ansys.com forward slash courses today.